Hi, I'm Darren. This is Orn and Ananda down there. Today we're at Rayleigh Beach. This is actually West Rayleigh. There's two beaches here and they both consistently rate in the top 10 beaches in Asia. In this video, we're gonna show you the activities you can do in Rayleigh, the sights you should see, and also the food that we ate while we were here. We've been here for a couple of days now, had a great time. It is so beautiful here, lots of amazing views. There's lots of stuff you can do here. Rayleigh is quite famous in the world for rock climbing. We've also been kayaking, spent a bit of beach time. Rayleigh is actually joined to the mainland, but the only way in here is by boat because there's some big cliffs surrounding it and they make it inaccessible from the land. The easiest way to get here is from Ao Nang. There's some ticket offices that sell boat tickets. The boats wait until they've got eight people before they leave and it's 100 baht per person. You can also rent a private boat if you're prepared to pay the full 800 baht on your own. It is a great day trip from Ao Nang. It's so beautiful here. We actually came from the next town along from Ao Nang called Ao Namau. It's just easier for us, it's closer to home easier to park the car and we're actually staying on the other side of Rayleigh on Rayleigh East so it's a lot closer for us to walk. If you're catching the boat from Ao Nang you will have to get in the water the same as if you get off here you will actually have to get in the water. The way we came there's two piers one to get on the boat one to get off so you can stay totally dry. This beach is certainly very picturesque there's quite a few resorts right on the beach. A lot of them have got restaurants that you can eat at on the sand. There's some fenced off areas where you can swim. There's quite a few shady areas under trees where you can sit during the day. Rayleigh Walking Street also starts here and there's lots of restaurants and bars and shops down there. There's also kayak hire shops here. You can also rent stand-up paddle boards. If you're keen on exploring a bit further afield, at low tide you can walk around to the right of this beach and around the rocks and get to the next little town area which is called Tonsai. Once we got off of the pier we had about a 400 metre walk to our resort. We stayed at the Rayleigh Garden View Resort, which was really nice. It's kind of a bit back to nature there. There's no air conditioning, no fridges in the rooms, no hot water. It's got a definite organic feel to it. It is on a hill, so there's a bit of a climb up some steps. But once you're there, the views there are beautiful. We spent a lot of time on our little balcony overlooking the water. So lots of wildlife there. We had dusky leaf monkeys in the garden, lizards, squirrels and stuff. They also do a great breakfast. Some of the best food we've eaten while we've been here was actually the breakfast in the resort. The restaurant at the resort's only open for breakfast, but there's plenty of restaurants not far away if you're prepared to walk for a couple of minutes. There's also lots of mini marts nearby as well, so you can get other supplies. The resort's also halal, so there's no beer there, but they're happy if you bring beer back. After we checked into our resort, we went for some dinner. We went to the Chule Bar because it had great reviews. Pictures on Google looked amazing and it was also pretty close to our resort. Our first dinner on Rayleigh, it looks pretty good. 
Hopefully it tastes good because we've waited about an hour for this since we ordered. The bar is great. The Tule bar, very beautiful here. Great place to take in our sunset. Very chilled, nice music, lots of great places to sit. It is very beautiful, but I wish we didn't come here when we were hungry because I think I've started to digest myself. Let's try this food. I'm gonna start with these prawns wrapped in noodles. They look really good. Mm, wow, really crunchy. Some great flavor, very tasty. What did you get? Pad pad chicken, spicy chicken stir fry. It's got lots of beans, some chili pepper in there. Some basil by the look. How is it? You like it? It's okay, not the best, but. Mm, yeah, it's a bit watery. It doesn't really have quite the blend of flavors that we're used to with that one. So so. And Nanda got chicken with herbs. Chicken looks light and fluffy. It's got some really light basil, crispy fried. What do you think? So so, yeah. I'm the same. Not a lot of flavor in there average overall that one. I did something I don't usually do. I ordered beef. You got it with oyster sauce. It's got some mushrooms there, some carrot, bits of beef. Grab a bit of that sauce. Sauce again looks a bit watery. Let's give it a go. Mm, tough beef. Sauce is okay. Not bad. This place has got lots of good reviews. It's the last place pretty much on Rayleigh's. Not much back behind us there. As far as first meals go, yeah. Try the prawns, they were really good. This place is very chill though, nice relaxing place. The beer was good and the views were good. The food, mm, try the prawns, they were really good. After dinner, we went exploring Rayleigh at night. We walked from the other side there, from Rayleigh East over to this side to Rayleigh West, through the walking street. find all the facilities here of other areas in Thailand. Just a little bit less variety here, but there are plenty of restaurants, shops, tours, money exchange, and lots of bars.
Unfortunately, that's all I've got time for for this week, but check back next week for part two of our Rayleigh adventure. We'll see you then. Bye.